Okay, so here's a rock bottom story for you. Been around the block, gosh, more than a couple of times. So I've had a quite a few rock bottom moments, but I'll just share this one with you because I had just gone through another divorce. Yeah, another one. Me and Elizabeth Taylor, we could hang out and go bowling or something. But yeah, all I could feel was nothing but shame and disgust and depressed at myself for failing yet again at a relationship. And I wrapped my whole identity, my my life, just so much around um, my partner, my spouse. And um, when they were gone, I I just felt completely lost. And so going to work was hell because my mind kept like ruminating about the traumatic events that unfolded through the whole, you know, divorce and breaking up and, and splitting everything up and moving and, and that pain, like sometimes all I could think of was that pain inside that like emotional anguish. I mean, it never went away. It was just always there. And then after work, I didn't know what to do. I had no life without someone else. I didn't know what I even liked to do anymore. I didn't have hobbies, no routines, no group activities to go to. And I didn't even know what music to listen to. I mean, everything was just about this other person. And, um, yeah, like I said, I wrapped my whole life and identity and self-worth into the relationship. I was literally clueless without a relationship, not being with someone. And like, I didn't know how to be alone. And I hated myself and just hated being alive. It, it, it just never felt good all the time. So, you know, fast forward a little bit, one day, uh, I finally decided, you know, things had to be different. You know, I just things had to change from this normal that has been. And instead, I just, I just had to go at it a different way. You know, if you want different results, you got to do something different. And so I asked myself this question. I was like, okay, what do I need to do? in order to become the version of myself that I can be proud of, where I'm independently happy. And so I you know, found a therapist, a good counselor to guide me down this new road and give me advice on what to do and how to manage my feelings without messing up too badly or you know, going down a wrong road and not knowing what I don't know. So it's good to have a guide. And I read so many books and attended all these seminars and volunteered and tried new things, new activities and to see, you know, if I'd like to pursue them more, like trying to find new hobbies. And it's like I made more meaningful connections to my family to keep me socialized and uh, just to kind of get rid of that lonely factor, you know, that you feel. Um, I just did so many more things that brought the quality of my life way up. I was interesting again. I was way more self-reliant and healthy. Um, I was more social, um, employed and, you know, more than one couple would comment to me that they wish that their son would marry me. And I was flattered at the compliment, but... I, I just felt good knowing I was at peace with just myself. Like I didn't, I didn't need anybody. I didn't need anybody else's approval or their admiration or anything like that. I didn't need a boyfriend or a spouse to try to live up to anymore. And it was just so freaking peaceful for me. And it's like the pain went away, that loneliness went away, and um, 
I mean, when you hit rock bottom and the only way to go up, you know, going through that divorce again and failing again and not feeling good about the future, or not having a good outlook on the future, it's just bottom, you know, I mean, there is nowhere else to go. But uh, so finally, I was doing all these things and changing how I did things and doing things different and started going up. And yeah, I, I I wasn't that needy person looking for approval anymore. And I could just take it or leave it either way. And I knew I was just going to be just fine either way. And so rebuilding my life was hard but just worth the effort you know anything worth doing it's going to be hard so might as well just do it anyway because the same amount of time is going to pass so might as well just have it and now i can say i'm living my life not just trying to survive it i'm actually really living it and love it